This Google Image FS can give you the best realistic images you can ever think of. After watching this video to the end, you are definitely going to stop using Midjourney AI, Leonardo AI, the E, Microsoft Designer, plus other paid AI tools that you are currently using to generate your AI images. Because this AI tool I am about to introduce to you will give you the best realistic images you can ever think of. If I tell you all these realistic images you are currently seeing on the screen are all AI generated images, will you believe it? Yes. These are not my wedding pictures or my graduation pictures. They are all AI generated images. So I'm going to take you through this image generator tool that is the Google Image FX so that you can use it for your project it can either be storytelling channel or any faceless youtube channel niche for better understanding watch the video to the end and get the best out of it to get started open to your browser and type image fx now choose the first option so let me quickly take you through this so that you can start creating your ai images when you open the google image fx there are a few things that you need to do to get your images right so bring your cursor to the down here where we have the settings and tap on it now when you tap on it this is what you're going to get so sometimes when you open it it might be somewhere here so just bring your cursor to the settings and tap on the settings now there are a few things that you need to do here you come to the model here tap on it and maintain the and maintain the best quality bring your cursor to this box where we have the aspect ratio this is where you can choose the size or you can set the size of the image that you want we have the square there's a portrait that you can use to create reels and shorts and this also landscape that you can use to create youtube images and this is a mobile portrait and the mobile landscape so depending on what you are going to use the image for currently we are going to use these images for youtube so we're going to click on the landscape that's the system by nine aspect ratio now bring your cursor to the top where we have the seed so this is the menu of the unlock here you see we have four boxes here anytime you give a command to generate an image it's going to generate four images for you the unlock means you are going to get four different images in the box to choose the best out of it and when you lock it you are going to get the same images running throughout the boxes here that is the menu of the lock and unlock then bring your cursor to the top here where we have this toggle you choose one of the preview options to use from here when you tap on it it switches to the other one so so this is the use of these two buttons here and this is where we enter our prompt so apart from this there are other settings that we'll be doing when we enter our prompt so let's try our hands creating some images and i'll show you how to set some of the prompts up so let me go to my my, my google docs and copy one of the prompts so i'm going to copy this prompt and go back to image fx i'm going to paste it here like this then after pasting your prompt come to the more click on the more like this choose any of these effects to use so we are going to click on the highly detailed if you don't get any other thing there are more options here so click on more i still don't like the options here so i'm going to click on more again see we have natural light here so i'm going to click on the natural light i'm going to check another one again let's go with the highly contrast more again to get now we have realistic here that's what i wanted so if you want other options here or other things to be added you can click on it and add it currently i am okay with this for effect then you can hit on the generate button to generate your image so you see within some few minutes the images have been generated for me so you can see we can preview it to see we can use the arrow key to go through the images so this is the prompt that i use a realistic portrayal of a black american journalist sitting poised to deliver the news inside a modern newsroom equipped with large screen displaying news graphics a slick news desk and a professional lighting so you can see the dressing tool has been added plus the the background the expression plus other things in the prompt so you can see the image fx has highlighted some key things in my prompt that i can make changes to i can tap on it and see we have other options like the abstract and other options here you can also come to this side where we have the journal so meaning i can change the profession to a doctor lawyer teacher so we we'll come back there again to see if we can do some changes now let's come to the modern room so you can tap on it you see old-fashioned room futuristic newsroom then we have large screen you can see you have other options that you can also make changes to the the news graphic you can change it to sports graphic weather graphic and 
then other one there. Then you can scroll down. You see we have the professional suit. You can change it to formal clothes, casual clothes, athletic clothes, and the rest. Then we have tie. You can change it to scarf or bow tie or no tie. So these are some of the things that image FS give you the opportunity to make changes to. Isn't it not wonderful? Because I've used so many AI generative tools to create AI images and you don't get these options. Now this is how you can have access to the image effects. Go to my description section, click on the link in my description section and it will bring you direct to this platform so that you can start using it. If you don't have an account, you'll be required to sign in with your Gmail account. But if you already have an account, then you can just start using it with your Gmail account. You also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscription button and subscribe to this channel and also leave a comment about what you like about this video in the comment section. So I'm going to change one or two options to see if we are going to get different things. So we're going to change the professional suit to casual or at athletic clothes. So we're going to maintain this and hit on the create. Now you can see the journalist is in a sports way. Just look at it. So this is what we actually bargain for or we, we ask for. You can hit on the download button to download that. So you go through the images and hit on the download button and download that. Let's try our hands on another image to see whether we are going to get different things. So we're going to try another black American image again. Then when we finish, then we come to the African folktale images too. So we're going to delete the previous prompt and paste the current one in the box. These are the four effects we are going to use. See, we have highly detailed, highly contrast, a realistic close up and click on the create button to create that. So you see this one too has given us option or the opportunity to make changes if you want to make but you are convinced with what you are seeing or the background and everything that you can just leave it as it is and download that to your drive. Now to the African Foxtel tell us it is your time. So let's go back to my prompt and, and check one of the prompts that is related to the African Foxtel storytellers. Let's copy this prompt and go back to image effects to see whether we are going to get something that is related to the African Foxtel Tellers. Now let's click on the create button to create our next image for the African folktale story tellers. So we can just preview A to C. Let's start from the first image. You can see there's a second one. There's a third one and the fourth one. I'm definitely going to download these images for my AI channel. See these images are so real. They look better than most of the AI images I have generated so far with other AI tools. Now let's go back to our prompt and try another one. So let's go with a traditional Kenyan woman. Let's go back to image effects and paste it here. Select your effect. Click on the create button to create that one too. Wow, this is so beautiful. You can see this is so nice. Let's go through the images to see. There was an error that popped up when creating the images. So you can see we have only two images here. So we're going to click on the download button to download that onto our drive. Now let's move to the next one. So we're going to go back to the image FX. We're going to delete the previous one and then paste the current prompt so let's click on the natural light and click on the create button to see if we are going to get this is so nice this is so wonderful you can see we have one image here that was generated so you can click on the download button to download that now let's try the next prompt so we're going to try this this is nice i can click on the download button to download that so we can also check this this is a different image this is another image of what i actually requested you can see everything in the background looks so real so this is how the image effects works for well, isn't it beautiful you can use the image effects to generate images for your african folktale stories you can also use it to generate images for your faceless youtube channels you can also use it to create animated stories so let's try generating a 3d animated image here to see wow this is so nice so you see it looks so perfect i didn't even add any effect i just click on the create button and it created a perfect photo for me you can see this is so nice so i'm going to click on the download button to download that so in my next video i'm going to show you how to create consistent images for your storytelling channel using the image effects so if it's something that you're looking out for then stick to this channel because i'll be releasing that video any moment from now so click on the subscription button if you have not subscribed yet and click on the notification bell so that i get notified anytime i post a video here so tell me what do you like about the image effects is it something that you're going to try anytime soon to start 
start generating images for your storytelling channels, let me know that in the comment section. If you're already using this to generate your images, let me know what you like about it in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you found value in this video and also leave a comment about what you like about this video in the comment section. Until then, I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.